Welcome back. Increasing moisture here into the northern plains, mostly as clouds for now, but there will be some scattered showers in parts of the Dakotas, mostly missing Minot to the south over the next few days. Area of low pressure developing in Wyoming, and we'll see some precipitation come from Wyoming into the Dakotas over the next few days. Some of this in Wyoming and parts of the higher terrain of southern Montana and the Black Hills of South Dakota and Wyoming will see some wintry weather form of accumulating snow as we go over the next few days, but it will remain mostly rain for North Dakota as we go through Wednesday with this stripe of precipitation extending from Wyoming through western South Dakota and predominantly into southern and eastern North Dakota with upwards of a half inch to one inch south and west of the capital city of Bismarck, but little to none is expected here in the KMOT viewing area. A few sprinkles here and there around Minot tomorrow are possible. Maybe a few hundredths from Garrison up through Drake, possibly upwards of a tenth near Harvey as most of the moisture misses us to the south and east. But these scattered showers will be on the increase for southern North Dakota as we go into tomorrow morning. The mostly cloudy sky will be in place region-wide. We'll see overnight lows tonight mostly in the 30s to around 40 degrees. Highs only in the 50s tomorrow, so cooler weather settling in with those off and on showers in southern North Dakota. The showers increase in coverage mainly south of I-94, whereas for us along Highway 2, we remain mostly dry as we go through Tuesday evening and Tuesday night in southern North Dakota. With temperatures dropping down into the 30s, some of those rain showers could have a few snowflakes mixed in. We need moisture in any form around here, especially 40 days since we had a day with more than a tenth of an inch of rainfall. Last time that happened in Minot was more than a month ago on September 18th. Temperatures tonight will be dropping down into the mid to upper 30s, and we'll have that cloud cover sticking around as we start tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy sky through midday tomorrow with a few of these isolated showers possibly grazing Garrison, Turtle Lake, and Harvey. Could see a few peaks of sunshine shine into our Tuesday afternoon before more clouds continue into our Wednesday morning and the isolated shower chance continuing around Harvey. Otherwise, the clouds start to clear out on Wednesday, setting us up for an even colder day. High temperatures tomorrow with the mostly cloudy sky will only top off in the low to middle 50s. 55 is my forecast high in Minot, and then only 43 degrees in Minot on Wednesday. Low to middle 40s region wide for the middle part of our work week below normal temperatures on the way, but back to around seasonable levels for Halloween on Thursday, 40s to about 50 degrees. Then by trick-or-treating time, upper 30s are in the forecast. Some spooky stats for you for Halloween in Minot. Record high temperature, 76 degrees. Record low temperature, minus 1 in 1919. Record snow at 8 inches in 1919 as well. Last year was a cold Halloween with highs in the 20s and lows in the single digits. More seasonable temperatures for Halloween this year. Year, and then those seasonable conditions continue, but dry as we go into next weekend. We turn the clocks back as daylight saving time ends on Sunday with, again, temperatures around 50 degrees and lows in the 20s.